friends welcome to our channel mechanical motivator today we just going to see a basic problem on projection of solid i will be explaining the question then i will be telling the given data after that we will be seeing the problem step by step a pentagonal prism of side of base 30 mm so first thing we need to identify is what kind of diagram we are going to draw so in our case we just going to draw pentagon of base side 30 mm and uh, Height is 60 mm. So side will be 30 mm and height will be 60 mm. Rest with one of its base corner of HP. So we will be deciding where it is resting. So resting on HP. Resting on HP. And they clearly say that base corner. So orientation would be corner. Then there are three conditions in our exam. In your examinations, they won't ask you to draw all the three condition. They will be asking any one condition. So each condition is twenty marks. So I will be explaining the condition for A. So for A, I am just going to draw the diagram, and for B and C, I will be explaining how to differentiate. So it's very easy and it's very clear. So in A, they are asking to axis is inclined at forty-five degree to HP. So what they are asking, what is the condition is axis is inclined forty-five degree to HP. So when you see the previous video, so introduction video I clearly said and also told about the hints and all. So with those things we can proceed with the diagram. If they are saying axis is inclined forty-five degree to HP means then it's clearly meant, uh, we have to do base. We have to draw the base diagram on HP. So base diagram has to be drawn on HP. And in remaining cases, see here longer edge and longer edge and uh, base surface and all. I will be explaining at the end. After completing the sum, I will be explaining. So first thing is we need to identify what kind of pentagon we have to draw. So there are totally four types of pentagon. So see here, this is the base. So this is the base, and we have to complete this. So this is the corner. So this one will be the base, and this is the corner. We can draw pentagon in the uh, type one. Type two is this will be the base, and this will be the corner. And here this will be the base, and this will be the corner. And fourth case, this will be the base, and this will be the corner. So there are probably four pentagon, four types of pentagon we can draw. In our case, they are clearly mentioned corner. So uh, uh, orientation is corner. Planes will be following from the left hand side. In planes, we will be following from left hand side. For solids, we will be following from the right hand side. So you have to see from the right hand side. So corner means where is the corner of right hand side? See here, uh, in this diagram, the corner is right hand side. So this is the corner which is equal in plane. So angle will be forty five degree. So here forty five degree, here forty five degree. See here, this is also corner, but it's not equal in plane. This is the corner, but it's not equal in plane, and this is the side. So in our diagram, we are going to choose only the Type one, and we will be proceeding the diagram. In question, they are asking us to draw the projection. So there are totally three, three cases. So first case only we are going to solve. Remaining two cases I will be dealing later on. So in bracket they have given change of position method. So whatever method we are just going to follow is the change of position method. So we will be drawing a diagram, and we will be changing the position and represent the diagram. So this diagram is called as change of position method, and another method is called as auxiliary method, auxiliary plane method. Actually, this method is not in our syllabus. Uh, two years back, there is a method called auxiliary plane method. It's similar to section of solid, but uh, in our syllabus we won't deal with auxiliary method. We will be dealing only with the change of position method. So first step will be we will be drawing the reference line, and we will be writing at x and y. And vertical plane, horizontal plane. These things are not very known. And uh, according to the hill, so in they are given as axis inclined to HP. So axis is inclined to certain angle to HP means. So we are going to incline the entire axis 45 degree to HP. Then our base diagram will be in top view. The base diagram will be in our HP. So these things we just saw in the hill itself. If the axis is inclined to HP, we have to draw the base diagram in HP. If the axis is inclined to BP. You have to draw the base diagram in BP. So in HP, we'll be seeing only the top view. So imagine like this. So th this is a rectangular prism, but in our case we are having a pentagonal prism. So see here there are four corners: one, two, three, four, as well as bottom one, two, three, four. So when we are seeing from the top, if it's a square, if it's a square, we can name like this. So top face can be named as alphabet, and bottom face can be named as numerical. So top face I'm going to name as A B C D. Bottom one two three four. Same thing for pentagon. In in square we are having four corners, whereas in pentagon we will be having five corners. So top faces can be represented as A B C D E, and bottom face can be represented as one two three four five. So when we are seeing from the top, we can see the alphabet. That is top face we can see, but we can't see the bottom face. 
that's why we are naming it as a b c d e this one will be the top face and bottom most face will be 1 2 3 4 5 all these five corners we can't see so we are putting inside the bracket so this is the basic explanation next thing we need to identify the uh, axis for identify the axis just see here just measure this distance so Uh, for drawing this pentagon, I have clearly explained. We are going to choose the first type. You will be having the base here, thirty mm, and it will be taking the angle seventy two, seventy two, and then complete the entire pentagon. And naming it all, I have clearly explained. And here, what I am going to do is, we need to set the axis. For setting the axis, see here, for determining the pentagon axis, uh, this measurement is thirty mm, right? So this distance will be thirty mm. Half of it will be fifteen mm. So approximately here, I am just going to join this half, that is midpoint. To the opposite corner, so this one will be the base corner, so which will be having a yeah, yeah, equal inclination of 45 degree, 45 degree. I am just going to uh, join this corner with half of this, as well as I am going to join this corner with the half of this, so that these two lines will be meeting at one point, and that point is called as the axis of the pentagonal prism. We can choose any corner. If you choose this corner, then we have to bisect this line. If you choose this corner, then we have to bisect this line. See to it that both the lines intersect at one point and mark that point and take that point as the axis of the pentagonal prism. Now we have just marked the axis. For marking the axis, measure this distance, bisect this this line, and just join with the opposite corner. Uh, bisect this line, so we'll be getting a point. Join with opposite corner. When these two lines intersect, and that point is called as O. So this is the axis of the pentagonal prism. So next thing is we have drawn the top view. Next we are going for uh, front view. So just see, uh, see here when you are going for front view means if this is a pentagonal prism. So this is a duster. But just imagine if it's a pentagonal prism. So obviously what you will be seeing, you will be seeing the rectangular faces. That's what we going to just draw here exactly. So here we will be seeing the front view. So front view as a duster, the top face will be the alphabets and bottom face will be the numerical. So when you are seeing from the when you see the diagram from this point, when you see from the diagram from the front view. See here, you can see B, but you can't see A. That's why I'm writing as B dash bracket A dash. You can see C, but you can't see E. So C dash bracket E dash. You can see D. So we just write wrote as D dash itself. So this is all about for alphabet top face. For bottom face, just do the same step. You can see two, but you can't see one. So two dash bracket one dash. You can see three, but you can't see five. So three dash bracket five dash. You can see four dash. Next thing is you just mark that point right. Just keep your scale at this point. Try to get a point here. So uh, just try to draw axis line. So this is the axis line. You should, you should draw like this. So you should draw like one big dash and one small dash. One big dash and small dash. One big dash and small dash. Like that, if we draw in, this is called the axis line. And height of the height of the prism. So height is 60 mm. Okay. So this I didn't uh, forgot to mention. So you have to take a height of 60 mm. So from the reference line, you have to take 60 mm, and you have to put this box. So for putting this box, you need to uh, mark two points. So one point you will be getting here, and one point you will be getting here. Height will be 60, so that you can complete it, and you can just measure as it is. So where this E means this line will be. This is one edge, and this is one edge, and this is one edge. I just completed diagram. So as of now, we have drawn the top view and front view alone. So in our question, they are asking us to incline the axis. So if you want to incline the axis for forty five degree, see just here, it's very difficult for us to incline the angle for forty five degree. What I am going to give, I mean, what in I am just going to give us. See here, if you incline this axis forty five degree, see just see this angle. This angle will be ninety degree, right? So this angle will be ninety degree. So ninety plus forty five. So this angle will be forty five. So out of one degree, we are having two angle. One will be ninety, and another will be forty five means. Remaining will be automatically forty five. So it's enough for us to just incline this base. So just measure this distance. So just take your scale. Just measure this distance. So approximately we are having five centimeter. Then take five centimeter. And the angle should be forty five degree. And the angle should be for the reason is if this angle is forty five, automatically this is ninety, and obviously this will be forty five. So just imagine if they are asking us to incline the axis for thirty degree. So if this is thirty degree means this is ninety, then automatically this will be sixty degree. So what I am going to do is if they are asking if they are asking to incline the angle for thirty degree, axis is thirty degree means obviously we just going to incline the base as sixty degree. So I hope so you will be clear with this. So just take your scale, measure this distance approximately five centimeter. Then just For 45 degree, keep your point, keep keep your protector anywhere on the 
रेफरेंस लाइन जस्ट कीप ऑन पॉइंट एंड फॉर टेक 45 डिग्री एंगल टेक 45 डिग्री एंगल एंड जस्ट कीप दैट लाइन एज 5 सेमी व्हाटएवर यू मेजर इट व्हाटएवर यू मेजर इट यू जस्ट कीप एज इट इज देन यू मेजर दिस डिस्टेंस दिस विल बी 60 देन फॉर परपेंडिकुलर 90 डिग्री आउट टू ड्रॉ this distance will be 60 degree and this will be 60 degree and just completely box and we already got the points here we will be having b dash a dash right so we will be having b1 dash a1 dash and you have to write all the uh, alphabets as we are seeing here so when you are going transferring here we just going to differentiate it naming or not so you just going to tilt or change this position of the diagram to this position this method is called as change of position method and we are going to incline axis so you have to dimension only your axis you should not dimension here 45 degree now just name as it is so whatever we are naming here having if it's b dash a dash is b1 dash a1 dash c dash e dash means c1 dash a1 dash just name as it is and the distance should be same so whatever diagram and dimension here we just going to tilt the diagram and the dimension should also be same only thing is we just going to incline this base to 45 degree in order to have the axis incline for 45 degree so these things we have did clearly and also axis you have to extend till reference axis then what you going to do you are in three points right so 1 2 3 just extend all the three points vertically here there are three points 1 2 3 extend all the three points vertically as it is so here we will be having five points so just extend all the five corners horizontally so whatever we did for planes we just going to do the same thing so where these points intersect we just going to mark that point so see here so here we are having numerical and here we are in alphabets so see here this two and this two will be meeting at this point this one and this one will be meeting at this point so 1 2 3 4 5 will be having here and here a b c d e will be having so just mark all the points and i will be telling what are the edges which need to be hidden so few things uh, you can you see here when i am so if, if this is the pentagonal prism if i uh, tilt this prism to certain angle see here if i if this is this is the case means you can see only this four corners but you can't see what other things are back but when i tilt here means you can see some what side but you can't see the edge this this corner on whatever edge is connecting to connecting to it so same thing we going to do here also when we tilt here where a particular corner will get hidden on whatever uh, edges connecting to that point will also be hidden that i will be clearly explaining now for drawing the hidden edges just focus here see whichever point is getting uh, touching or near to the x y line so only one corner see here this is the only corner which is touching x y line and which is near to it so we have to uh, fix that corner so 4 dash is the corner just see what all the points connecting to it so 4 dash is connecting with d d1 dash and 3 it's 3 1 dash here so 3 1 dash and 5 1 dash 3 1 dash and 5 1 dash so 4 is 4 1 dash so 4 1 dash is getting connected with 5 1 dash and 3 1 dash and here we will be having d1 dash so here also it's 1 1 2 1 3 1 i just change it up uh, only thing is 4 to 5 will be hidden 4 to 3 will be hidden and 4 to d will be hidden only these edges are hidden so whichever uh, corner touching x y line whatever things connecting to it will be getting hidden so we will be seeing from here when we see from here we can't see this corner so this corner will be hiding and get hidden so we have to hide only i mean put hidden lines for 4 to 5 4 to 3 and 4 to d hidden lines can be called set as continuous dash like this continuous dash you have to put equally you have to put and it should be thickly you have to put and it should be clearly seen after joining the hidden lines just join all the edges first of all you join a b c d e then you join remaining sides so these and all surface and this is one face and this is one face this is one face and this is one face try to darken it very hard very uh, darkly with your hp pencil uh, what uh, except the hidden lines all the edges just join it you can see a pentagonal prism so out sketch will be like this for dimension you need to dimension the height the side and angle so these three things and finally you have to write all dimensions are in one and scale only is to one do subscribe my channel mechanical motivated then only you can get all the videos which i upload thanks for watching this video